Welcome back to Our Life Out in the Country. My name is Doug. And I'm Ashley. Today we're going to give you a video about perches. Chicken perches. Um, we built our coop and we just finished it recently and we shared that video with you guys. And we were surprised by how many people commented about our perches. The chicken roosting spots. Um, and told us basically that they were wrong and that we need to change these because they're not good for chickens. So we wanted to make a video to end the questions, end the debate, and let you guys know what's the best roost for your chicken. The perches that we chose was a simple two by four with its wide side up. So basically a flat two by four. And there's some question or debate in the community about whether or not that's good for chicken's feet uh, or if it's too wide or you know they want to grip it and they can't all these kind of questions we have studied this topic for hours we've looked multiple times we've studied it in the past when we built our old coop uh, years ago and we looked again we always see the same answers i've read the studies i've read everywhere i could think of looking so first before we get into the sizes I think we should talk about why we have a chicken perch or a roost. Basically chickens like to be up in the air at night most of the time. There's some breeds like bigger birds or meat chickens that will often just stay on the ground. But generally they want to find a safe spot and the safe spot is their perch and that's where they're going to sleep all night. So you want a comfortable spot for them to roost so that they can get a good night's sleep. Now the height off the floor for your perch is gonna be determined by your flock and your coop. We have a lot of room, so we have a lot of room to lift them up. We chose a four foot height, and that is about the max that I would feel comfortable going because we want the chickens to be able to fly up to it comfortably and fly down from it comfortably without a lot of heavy impact. Can you have it higher? Yes. Um, I wouldn't go higher just because I feel like four feet is a good height. That's mm -hmm. just our personal take on it. Um, because if chickens get too high up in the air, they sometimes can hurt their feet from the, the, the landing down on the ground. But we have seen chickens that perch up in the tops of buildings and in the tops of trees. They, they can go up very high and they'll fly down from 15 feet up in the air and have no problems. So it's not that you can't have a higher perch, but just Think about your chicken breed, how heavy is it, how well can they fly, and how big is your coop. You want to make sure that you have at least 18 inches over your perch so that they can fly up without banging their heads when they want to get up on top of the perch. You also want to keep your perch above your nesting box, and that is an important one that a lot of people miss because a lot of coops are just too small. Um, some people told us that our perch is too high, it needs to be lowered. It really can't be lowered because this is a four foot perch and we have a three foot nesting box. If your perch is at the same height as your nesting box, very often you're going to get chickens sleeping in the nesting box. And you don't ever want your chickens sleeping in the nesting boxes. When they sleep in the nesting box, they make a mess in the nesting box and then you get dirty eggs. If you want to avoid dirty eggs, make sure your perch is higher. That's one step toward getting clean eggs. We intentionally put our nesting boxes low so that we can easily collect the eggs and so that our perch could be higher than it without going way up in the air. Now if you want to keep your perches high enough to be above your nesting boxes but the height is a problem for your chickens, for example if you have clipped wings, a lot of people clip their chickens wings so they can't fly over fences and that's fine but all you have to do is build a ramp to help them get up to their perches and you can just put a simple wooden ramp um, some, with some wooden slats across it so they can climb up easily and then there should be no problem for them. Mm -hmm. Another thing that you have to keep in mind is that you will need at least 8 to 10 inches of perch per bird. So if you want to know how many perches you need or how much how long they should be just do 8 to 10 inches per bird and you'll be fine. The next thing is the placement. When you're looking for the proper place to put your perch you want it to be out of the way, preferably in a dark area, out of any drafts, because that's where they're going to be sleeping. They don't want wind blowing on them. They don't want to be exposed. They want to feel safe and comfortable. And they're going to make a mess underneath. 
they're gonna have droppings collecting under that perch all night. So you don't wanna have it so that they have to walk under it to get to their nesting box or they have, to, or you have to walk under it to, to collect the eggs or whatever. So just have it like on the opposite side of your nesting box. And again, the separation is gonna help them because they're gonna have to choose. Do I wanna sleep in my nesting box or do I wanna sleep on this perch? And if the perch is in a better location and it's up higher, they're gonna go for the perch. And you also don't want them like a perch here and then a perch right under it because then they're going to just poop on each other and that would be gross. That's a good point. If you have multiple perches like this, you want to make sure they're at least 12 to 18 inches apart. And if you stagger them, which a lot of people do, they'll have a staircase of perches. Again, 12 to 18 inches apart and down like that. Um, if you have the room to spare, go wider. If you don't, 12 inches is fine. So now that we got all that out of the way, Let's talk about the size. We chose 2x4 because 2x4s are readily available, they're cheap, and they make excellent perches. Chickens are not little songbirds that cling to a tiny branch. They're, they're big, and they really don't mind sitting on a flat perch. The 2x4 is actually the number one recommended choice, and it might not be the best choice, it might not be the you know, it's not the only choice, but it's actually the most used and I've never seen a complaint. I've never seen or heard of a chicken having problems from sleeping on a two by four. In fact, there's some benefits. If you live in a cold climate, a lot of people say that it actually helps the chickens keep their feet warm in the winter because they can put their feet flat on the two by four and cover them fully with their feathers. And that helps them from getting frostbite on their toes while they're sleeping. Whereas a smaller perch, their feet or curled under and don't have that same protection. The other thing is rodents. Sometimes rodents can be a problem in a coop and they can actually chew the toes off your chickens. If your chicken's toes aren't dangling down, they're a little bit more safer. But if you have rodents, take care of that problem, number one. So there are benefits to using the two by four and many, many people use it. So don't let people tell you you can't use it. It is like the most used perch out there. That's what we used in our other coop and we never had a problem. No problems at all. You gotta keep in mind that chickens will perch anywhere on anything they want to. It's, they could perch on thin pieces yeah. of wood, fat pieces of wood, flat surfaces, rough surfaces, metal, wood. Yeah. They'll perch where they want to perch bike tires, anything. So you just want to make the most comfortable spot for them, but here's the here's what it comes down to. It's not one way only. You got to do what's right for your for your flock, and for the average size breed, this is the number one solution out there. So it's not the only solution. 2 by 2s also make good perches. There was actually a scientific study, I believe it was out of Germany, where they studied perches for chickens and seen which perches were the chickens most comfortable on. And they actually found that the chickens were the most comfortable on a flat surface, not round. And they came out to be about an inch and a half wide. So that'd be about a two, a two by, two by two or a two by four on its edge. Now that was the most ideal, but it doesn't mean this is wrong. It's not, it works perfect. So you can use a two by two, and that's sometimes recommended. If you wanna use that, use it. You'll be totally okay. And the most important thing to do is make sure that they are smooth, whether you're using mm -hmm. a two by four or a two by two or a two by four on their side, make sure they're very smooth. You don't want splinters and rough edges sticking out and make sure they have the rounded corners. Most wood today has it, unless you're buying rough cut lumber or like old lumber yeah. from a really old house. If it has square edges, you want to round them off. You just want it comfortable for their feet to, to lay on. So no sharp edges. Um, you could also go in the middle of a two by two or a two by four and you can get a two by three. That's going to work fine too. There's no like this is right and that's wrong when it comes to either two by two, two by three or two by four. Get what's available, get what works for you and it's going to be totally fine. While chickens are pretty flexible as when it comes to perches, uh, there is a couple things you want to avoid. Basically, you don't want them sitting on metal or plastic. They're going to be too slippery and too cold. They just aren't good choices. Mm -hmm. The next thing is, it's actually recommended that you don't use a round perch. You could, 
and the chicken could sit on it fine and a, a lot of people use natural branches and stuff but chickens are actually more comfortable on a flat perch whether it be a two by two or a two by four it doesn't matter but they want it flat and that's how they're going to be the happiest so i would recommend against round perches also i would stay away from bumpy uneven or rough surfaces because it puts pressure points on their feet it could lead to more foot problems um, it could lead to, you know, if they put too much pressure or abrasive on their feet, you can end up getting like the bumble foot, uh, which is a, a, a problem that some chickens get when they have uh, foot damage. I guess it's a bacterial infection that gets in their foot. And it's just going to not be as comfortable for them to sleep on. I know lots of people use natural branches with a lot of great success, and you can keep doing that. But just pay attention to your chickens and, and get a size that's really like, th that they can sit comfortably on and isn't fatiguing them. You don't want it all uneven, so they have to put pressure on one side to stay even, mm -hmm. or have pressure points where their feet can't sit even. So ideally, this is the best perch, in my opinion. And, I would say so. And we have no trouble recommending a two by four flat on the side. It's gonna work perfect. So I hope that helps some of you guys, especially if you're starting out with chickens for the first time. It can be like crazy overwhelming to research everything you need like how much square feet and how, what kind of run and what kind of wire and how big a coop and mm -hmm. just uh, it's so much information. And the roost often gets overlooked until the last minute as a, and then you say, what do I do? And I've seen a lot of people online looking for answers. And um, so we hope that answers some of your questions. Go ahead and get your chickens a nice, smooth, flat piece of wood and they're gonna be happy. <laughs> So while we're talking about perches, we're gonna take you over to our nesting box where we're gonna actually install a small perch on the front of their nesting box to just help them get in a little easier. For the nesting box perch, I'm gonna use a two by two because I want it to be a little smaller. It's just to hop up there and get inside the nesting box. So here's my two by two. And this is like the ideal perch wood. You can see it's very smooth. It's got the rounded edges. And it's all you wanna look for. You don't want them getting all beat up. Right here? That looks good, yeah. I'm just using the materials that I have on hand and I have some conduit. So I'm gonna be using that to support it. Just by attaching some conduit straps kind of like this, right to the bottom of a two by four that's here. So let me get those lined up and we'll screw them on. So there's our sturdy little perch to hop up, climb inside the nesting box so they're not dive bombing the eggs in there. It's really sturdy and these should be easy to keep clean. Yeah. In the end, you just want a perch that works for you and works for your chickens. We hope we dispelled some of the myths and some of the wrong information that's going around. around. There's more than one way to do things and the right way is the way that works for you and your flock. That's all we have for today. If you have any more questions, just leave them below and we'll do our best to answer them. And until next time, take care. Bye.